Good day. Welcome to Podcast Host Army. What is your name and what is your podcast show? Hi, right. it's Steve Spiro, the Master Connector, coming at you live and direct. And the show is called the Master Connector Show. I know it's very, uh, a very creative name, but that's the name. Very cool. So tell us, uh, being a master connector, how do you leverage your podcast show and all the media and content that you create to become the master connector? How do those connect for you? Well, the, the truth is, is that what happened for me, I wound up uh, going, uh, you know, I was doing some videos and I and I, I found out LinkedIn Live actually was, you know, had to, you had to apply. So I wound up applying like, for kicks and giggles and I got a, approved. And so now I had to go and do something with it. So I was, as an introvert, shy introverted guy, the last thing I could think of was, you know, to be on broadcast and podcast or whatever. But I went to a friend who had been on his show and I'm like, hey, I got approved. He's like, dude, I've been trying to get on LinkedIn Live for two years. We should collaborate. So I started to, you know, do the show with him and we, we created the Master Connector show, which was great. And we started, initially we had five, four to five guests on every, you know, as this sort of crazy, like, I mean, it was great. But it was a lot of work. And then we we streamlined it. And that was about an hour, although usually went an hour and 20 minutes. And then we eventually went to we, we brought it down to 30 minutes. I have a new a new co-host now. But how how we've leveraged it really has been it's been a great platform for me as a, to show me as showcase me as a speaker, because uh, that's my main my main thing is being an inspirational speaker. It's been also a great opportunity for me to, you know, leverage my net my network and and showcase myself as a thought leader, but also at the same time bring value to my connections as I, as I connect with people daily. If they, if I feel like they have a, a good message, they've got a good following, I can have them on my show uh, as uh, as a way to, to bring value to my community. Yeah, man, that's really cool. Two things that I'd like to learn from you is, you know, we've get, I, I just spoke with a guy the other day who's, who's also shy and introverted. The idea of being on a podcast or media is really terrifying for that person. Like what advice do you have for other people who are shy, introverted, who are interested in maybe getting in the world of podcasting, YouTube creation, or maybe even public speaking? Yeah, I mean, for me, the the, the best way that we were able to do it is um, I use Calendly to, to book the, the show and I ask for not only a bio, the headshot, but also three takeaways. And then what I'm able to do is from that, I craft six questions. So being prepared for me as an introvert, I think has helped. Um, so I'm not just winging it. Right. And um, we've got a very formatted show. So we have an intro and outro video. We've, you know, we've been able to really structure it so that I think as an introvert uh, structure is important and you, you know, and not just winging it. So that, that's been helpful for us. Yeah. Very cool. So as, as you've gone through this, what was one of your favorite like memories from doing the show? And, that, and it looks like our, our timer just slowed down for a second. So we slowed down time for this, but kind of walk us through maybe a, uh, a memory looking back on all the podcasts you did. Like what was something that really stood out to you in that experience? I mean, I think a big one was having Bob Berg, the go-giver, uh, you know, on our show, we had Dr. Dre on our show. I mean, just having some really cool, amazing guests on our show has been really memorable. Um, the, the show, Dr. Dre, and there's two Dr. Dre's. I found out one is West Coast, one is East Coast. They are not. They know about each other. They're, they coexist. But the one I interviewed was East Coast, and he's uh, you know, visually impaired. So he had to it, – it was just this crazy show, and but it was amazing. Great content, and he shared his heart with our community. That one stands out a lot to me, but so many, so many things we've learned from it. Yeah. Now, how do you, for the speakers out there who have a podcast show, what, what is a good tip on getting speaking gigs from podcasts and YouTube stuff? Yeah, I, I have uh, had several speaking coaches over the years and they, they also have podcasts and they, they suggested this. They said, when you're looking to connect with somebody who might be somebody who could potentially hire you lead with, Hey, I'd love to have you on my show. And you have them on as your show and then eventually they may they they see you there. They see how what great job you do, a great communicator you are, the influence you are have, and then they they often get or you can actually say, hey, it's not a pretty cold cool thing thing, but hey, any opportunities on your side now that we've had you on the show? So you know it's a nice way that you can kind of get your foot in the door, but not going in there to pitch yourself as a speaker. For sure, and it lines up with Bob Berg, the go giver, right? Start oh, with yeah. the giving, and then. You know, we'll, we'll see the law of reciprocity and uh, influence kicks in. So, Steve, one more time, man. Thanks for coming on this. This has been a, a blast. Uh, where can people go to connect with you and listen to your podcast show? 
Best is uh, LinkedIn, but you could also go to, so find me, Steve Spiro, it'll come up as the Master Connector, but also go to uh, masterconnector.show and you'll find me there or stevespiro.com. Cool. Everybody, I hope you're enjoying these quick five-minute uh, tips and tricks on podcasting and YouTube creation. As always, reach out to our guests, say thanks for being on the show. Their contact information will be in the show notes below. If you'd like to come on the show, head on over to podcasthostarmy.com. We'll see you on the next one.